So I am a wellness coach. My name is Kamini, and I teach all over the corporate centers. And we bring meditation, relaxation, breathing, and help you with the wellness coaching. So we do the planning, we do action plans, we've set up your goals, and all about being kind to yourself, loving, compassionate, bringing peace in your daily routine life. And we work with our stress, if you're going through stress or smoking or weight loss or burnout. So we help with this 12 dimensions point and we work on it and bringing peace in your life. And I teach at a lot of corporate centers and we do our healing meditation and we do yoga nidra. So all about meditation, relaxation, and we'll help you out. It's a global awareness and let's walk, work together and bring peace in your life. We all want to focus on whole being and talk, uh, taking care of ourselves. It affects your sleep, stress, when we get burned out. So we want to focus on this wellness chart and we'll start with this wellness chart and all about you. You are in the center of this wellness chart and how is your self-love, self-responsibility? How are you taking care of yourself? All about loving ourselves, start with yourself. All about self-care, self-love, self-healing, and talk, uh, taking a responsibility for yourself. Hmm? Not to blame others, taking on yourself. It's all about whole being, whole person here. Then we go into breathing. How is your breathing? Hmm? When you are under stress, do you breathe properly? The breath changes everything. The more we breathe, more oxygen in our lungs, more energy. So these are all energy inputs. So breath affects everyone. Hmm? So let's focus on, let's take a deep breath here. Breathing in, belly out. Breathing out, belly goes in. So this belly breath brings more oxygen in your lungs and increases your lung capacity and sending message to the brain that I am calm. So at work when you are all busy under a lot of projects, a lot of stress, so use your breathing breaks. Take a few breaths here. Take breathing breaks, put it in your computer and do the breathing exercise and that goes a long way. You energize, bring more oxygen and work faster that way. And now we'll go into sensing. Sensing is all about feeling, touching, seeing, tasting, hmm? how you sense your environment, how you sense your workplace. Hmm? Is it too stressful? And let's bring this sensing positiveness here. Hmm? Enjoy mother nature, take a walk outside, feel that sensing, you know, and the, listening to the birds or the flowers during springtime, and you feel good about yourself. So sensing is so important, being yourself here in the center. How is your sensing every day? How is your breathing? Now we focus on our eating. Hmm? How are we eating? Hmm? In Ayurveda, the sister science of yoga, believes that you eat sitting down slowly and enjoy that colorful food, you know? We Americans, we are just on the go, go, go. So we don't focus on our beautiful plate, colorful, all rainbow colors. And when you eat, eat with lots of blessing. Bless your food, bless your water, so the energy is there into your food. All these are energy inputs. So you want to eat with love. And when you prepare food for everyone, with your, for your family or for yourself, put that love in there. So you get energy from your food. And let's focus on our eating. Eating, sometimes we, when we are under too much stress, we eat emotionally. Hmm? And sometimes we are under stress or sometimes we don't eat right. And we are into fast food. So preparation, preparation is a big point. So when we am coaching you, I will focus on our eating, sensing, and breathing. Hmm? And then we'll come down to moving. Hmm? We all move. Hmm? Our heart pumps, our lungs expands and contracts. Hmm? Our eyes are moving, hmm? our ears are vibrating. The whole body is moving. If we don't move, then we get more disease. Hmm? Our jobs are sitting a lot. So when you're having a meeting with somebody, take a walk. 
walking meeting huh? instead of sitting at your desk and give some five minutes break and start moving on at your chair. So let's focus on our moving. Hmm? Moving is all about our whole body is moving every day. The heart pumps, hmm? our lungs expands and contracts, our eyes are moving, our ears are vibrating. The whole body is moving. Huh? So the more we keep on moving and we energize, all this is energy output now. Hmm? So we let's focus on our moves, right? So while sitting at your desk, let's do just even two minutes of movement. So we breathe in, arms up. Breathing out, arms down. Hmm? Let's do two more times. Focus on your breath and the movement. So each breath, each movement. Breathing in up, beautiful. Breathing out, down. One more time. So all these moments goes a long way because you're working on the computers and let's release that tension out, breathing out down. And this time we're going to our twisting, twisting on one side. You have the chair at work, so why not to use it? All this twisting massages your spine, strengthens your core and detoxifies us. You can shift your look back. And then we go on to the other side. So every day, five, seven twist, energize, massage that spine, and detoxify. It helps with our digestive organs as well. And back to center. Shrugging those shoulders. All these movements goes a long way, releasing tension out. We work on the computers. So this way relaxes you. And let's take care of the neck movement, so tucking the chin to your chest, breathing in, we look up, breathing out, down. So all this neck movement releases tension out and lubricating our neck joint and we come back to center and this time we make circles with our breathing in, right shoulder, then back, Breathing out, left and down. So doing it two, three times, releasing tension out, loosening up. And this also helps with our energetically and neurologically, all these neck movements. And back to center, good. And let's just relax our eyes, movement with the eyes. So blink your eyes, the fluid in our eyes, let it flow smoothly, any dirt in that room, removing and we are watching that screen all the time our computer skin so the more we lubricate our eyes we relax our eyes we strengthen that eye muscle as well so let's look up and down with our eyes without moving our neck look up and down and look on the right side left side right without moving our neck back to center. So all these movements brings energy. So try every day at work, just moving, rubbing our palms. These are all acupressure points, helps with our nervous system. And then we shake it out, shaking it out. Relax those hands because we work on the computers, make a fist, open, close, open, close. So all this energy coming in and we energize. Just two minutes, take a break and move yourself. So movement is so important in our daily life. Everything is moving, our organs are moving, so we want to open up here. Then we'll go into our feelings. We all have feelings, sometimes positive, sometimes negative. So the more you focus on positive feelings, the more energy comes up. The negative feelings brings negative energy and we are hurting ourselves. We are bringing more toxins. In. We all have feelings, feelings about our workplace, with our family, and sometimes the social media gets us, you know. So sometimes you feel low because somebody's taking a vacation, you see it on Facebook, and then you're feeling low about yourself. Why not me? So all these feelings are important. So the more we work on our feelings, positive feelings, let go of that negativity out, hmm? that monkey mind, the drama in our life. So feelings are very important, but have positive feelings for your coworkers, your family, your friends in this world. 
bringing that feelings of positive, not negative. First, we focus everything on negativity. Let's transfer ourselves into positive feelings. Feelings are important. Open your heart to love and feel that. So now we are focusing on our thinking. So thinking is, we think about the whole person. Hmm? And the more you bring positive thoughts in your mind, and positive energy comes out. Hmm? So it's like you don't want that monkey mind to come in. Hmm? Monkey mind gets in, and you start negative, negative thoughts. So the mind is like a magnet. Hmm? So if you think positive, the mind gives it back to you, positive energy. If you think negative, the mind gives it back to you negative. Because the mind doesn't know these are positive thoughts or negative thoughts. So why not to have positive thoughts every day in daily life? Hmm? If the weather is bad, why to be thinking negative? It's fine. It's winter time. The snow is here. It's fine. So being positive and thinking about meditating on the snow, why not, right? So being positive about our weather, positive about our body. Sometimes we all have aches and pains. Hmm? So if you focus on those pains all the time, then the mind gives it back to you. This is what you want, you know. So why not to be positive? The pains and aches and pains will pass by. So just be positive about yourself. Think positive. And now we'll move on to playing and working. Hmm? We forget to play now. Hmm? When we, the little children, we watch them, they are all observed on their play. Huh? And they don't tr stress about anything. So let's focus on playing. We are all human beings, not human doing, doing, doing. Hmm? So focusing on some play time, that is positive, and work time too. So working, not to be workaholics, you know, take some time out. Go out and take a walk or play a game, basketball or at work go out for some games or whatever you're doing, exercising, but enjoy that, yes. Enjoying play time and also work time. So not just being workaholic, work, 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 let's have some time. So even at work, you're throwing that basketball in the, the little ball in the dustbin, you know, and just enjoy that. That's your play time. Hmm? And now we'll work on communication. 99% of this, our life is all about communication, how we communicate with others. Hmm? Sometimes we send that email or text message, we think they got the message. Hmm? But the more you communicate properly, you bring positive results. Hmm? And when you're not communicating with others, you're communicating in your head. Sometimes positive, sometimes negative. Hmm? The internal talking. Hmm? So let's communicate with each other. Let's enjoy, pick up the phone or go to your teammates at work, wherever they are, and talk it out. Hmm? With our family, let's communicate, not just send the message or text message that they got it. Nowadays, it's our iPhone, so we t give them the text message and we think that they got the message. But let's go deeper into it, because those messages sometimes reads very negatively. Hmm? So communication is very important. The more we communicate properly, our relationships builds up. Hmm? We feel good about each other, and we bring peace there. Communication is 99% of our problem. So let's enjoy this communication. Pick up the phone, go to your places, wherever your family members, talk it out. And communicate and we'll focus on intimacy hmm? intimacy is all about being connected with each other having feelings with each other hmm? not just the sex part and other stuff but this is all about communicating and talking having that relationship with my grandchildren my children my co-workers having that connectedness and we are missing out on that so let's focus on that intimacy, being connected with each other. And finding meaning in this life. Hmm? Who am I? Where am I? What am I? Hmm? All about meaning in this life. Finding that true meaning in our life. And the more we work on all this, helps with our meaning in our life. The finding that meaning. Hmm? What am I? 
all the philosopher talks about that. But the more you feel mind finding meaning, so all this meditation, relaxation, and stretching, everything helps. The breath helps, you know, the true meaning in your life. Hmm? And trying to go into zenning it out, relaxing. So we all are lacking that. We want to find meaning in our life. So we run everywhere else to find that happiness. Hmm? So the more we focus on ourselves, find that meaning hmm? in our life. And that's very important. So the way I coach you guys, we look into it and we work on that. Every aspect of these 12 dimensions are very important. Last one is our transcending, hmm? zenning it up being in this present moment. So the body is here, the mind is thousand miles away. Hmm? It's all about zenning, all about meditation, and connecting with our higher power. We bring spirituality here. Hmm? We bring prayers, meditation. Those are very powerful. And we ignore that. Hmm? So the more we are zenning, being connected to the higher power, so I always say to my clients that, you know, first thing in the morning, forget watching the news and all that. Hmm? Maybe listen to something, spirituality. Our mind is so fresh first thing in the morning, meditating. Bring that Zen in. Because we are all the way out, 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 running, 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 running. So the more we calm that busy mind, we, mo we energize ourselves. So transcending is all about connecting to our higher power. So meditation brings that in. So we'll work on meditation as well and open up. So wellness is all about coaching the whole person, hmm? the whole person. We bring peace and love into your life and we energize you with all these 12 dimensions of wellness. So I'm a your wellness coach and a yoga healer. And the more we work on each other, we help you with the action plans. We do the journaling and put the goals out there. And we all need each other to help. So it's like a partnership, you know. So you work with each other and help the whole being. So we'll work on you. And please do come. And my name is Kamini. And uh, my email address is kaminipat at yahoo.com. And you'll see it on the bottom. And uh, my number is 484-919-6128. And thank you very much and peace to you and peace to this world, peace to your family, and namaste to all.